Hey there, and welcome back to the Virtual Cafe for another coffee combo about business finances. I'm your host, Kerry Zarb, and I am joined by Kim White. We invite you to join us at our table with your favourite brew. Let's pull up our chairs and get into today's episode. Come on, let's go. It's coffee time. Welcome back, Kim. Hey, Kerry. I think we've got an interesting episode. We may have alluded to this episode last week, Kim, and we might have made the executive decision to kind of get it out there and have the combo while it's still fresh in our brains. We need it fresh in our brains, Kerry. That's important. (laughs) Absolutely, because prior to this, guys, I had a conversation with this amazing princess, and I said to her, can can you just like be some brains for me at the moment because my brains are just like a little bit spent and she looked at me and went what did you say Kim no (laughs) (laughs) we're in trouble if you're gonna use my brain we're in big trouble (laughs) (laughs) oh dear it was funny I had to share that Kim but today's conversation is what's on my playlist Music for working on the business finances. Kim, I'm excited. Love this, Terry. Love this. So, do you want to go first, or shall I go first? What? How do you want to? How do you want to fly, Kim? Well, I do want to just put a little bit of a note here, Terry. That the reason that you have a playlist is to help it not be so hard and i think you having a love for music and me having a love for music it gives us a space to like what we're doing more and encourage us and motivate us and all that so i just want to say that for a minute because i want to make that connection as to why this conversation came up between you and i absolutely great place to start kim and i also want to add that i think personal opinion I think music takes the ugly out of so many things Mm, that's a quote Carrie that's good stuff oh hang on let me let me do my two little fingers either side air quotes um but I think it's true Kim because think about other things housework with music is amazing amazing when I used to do housework because I'll confess boss does it all now but when I used to do housework before boss and I got together Oh my God, the tunes were pumping. I was vacuuming, mopping, dusting, doing all the things. It was the best. It was the best. You can turn something into a party when you put some music on. However, do you want to go there, Kim? I'm just giggling, Carrie, because I remember my boys hearing a certain song and wouldn't come in the house from playing outside until that song would go off because that was the song I used to clean with. And they would hear it and they were like, we're not going in yet. We're just not going in there because they knew they were going to have to come in and help me clean. And I think it's hysterical. Oh my God, that is that is hysterical. I love that. Oh, They read you well, Kim. They read you well. Absolutely, Gary. Well, Kim, I'm going to go there because I want to throw into the mix that as much as it's great to have a party and it's fantastic to lift the vibe and lift our spirits, especially when it's something that's a bit it that we've got to work on, I need to be careful because if I play the wrong thing for the wrong occasion, I, I, I can't. I can't, Kim. I can't concentrate. I can't. You and I had a conversation recently about playing music that had words while we were typing an email. I type what they're singing. I will just recite the whole raise your glass by pink in a heartbeat. Like that's what will actually happen. So, you Gary, me too. (laughs) So there is a time and place. However, I feel like we could cater a, a little playlist for our finances, Kim. Do you have anything like that already? So I'm giggling, Carrie, because I need your playlist. The first thing that comes to my mind is like the song, money, 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 money. <laughs> oh my goodness. And you know what comes to my mind, Kim? What, Carrie? A spoonful of sugar makes the medicine go down, the medicine go down, the medicine go down. <laughs> I think we need some sugar called music to get the finance numbers to go down. That's what it is. You did great, Gary. 
I don't know. I don't know why. That's from another conversation that you and I had at some point, and I can't remember where it tied into what where what we were talking about. But it is like a, a pretty pretty cute little tune. And Kim, I, I think part of the problem is everyone's going to be an individual in this, and everyone's going to be able to. Oh no, I can listen to rock and roll. I can listen to to you know R and B, and I can have the rap music and the DJ mixes and the different words and voices and tracks and all the things. Some people can do that. And yay, yay to you. If that's you, that's fantastic. I just can't, Kim. I just, I just can't. So Carrie, if you turn on Wild Thing, I'm going to be like leaving the finances behind and I'm going to be being that rebel of, I don't want any part of that. So I'm going to go over here and be a Wild Thing. Wow, oh, that's a good point, Kim, because if we put on the wrong music and we're not ready, like we can't concentrate, we'll be up and dancing. We'll be up and dancing and having a party and next minute we're cleaning the house and we haven't worked on our business finances. <laughs> I guess this is the caution for the for the day, Carrie, in the virtual cafe. Be careful what you're listening to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that, Kim. And... I will, I will share what my playlist is, Kim, for when I really need to concentrate, I'm working on the numbers, I'm on a spreadsheet, I'm do, on the calculator, I'm doing all the things. I have a playlist on my YouTube account that is called Relaxing Not Boring. I love that. It has, I'll share, it has tracks off Lord of the Rings, it has some Celtic music, I believe it's even got some like forestry harps or something. It doesn't have rivers, it doesn't have water because trust me with the amount of coffee I drink, there will be issues. So let's just not even go there. But it's tunes, Kim. And I put it on really low so that there's some kind of noise. I don't like to work in silence, no matter what I'm working on. Silence drives me insane. The humming of the computer is okay i'm used to it i tune it out if the hoo hoo birds start out the front look out i'm coming for them if the crickets are out the front in summer there's trouble to be had so just a little tranquil something just gets me by kim i don't have to watch it i'm not watching a movie i'm not listening to words i've just got something in the background to take away that eerie silence here, I've got to go back for a second because if they haven't been listening, they don't know what a hoo-hoo bird is. This is something that Carrie deals with all the time because there's a, I'm going to say a community of hoo-hoo birds that, that she calls them that because of the sound they make. But they are notorious for waking her up or disturbing what she's doing. So she is definitely not a fan of the hoo-hoo birds. And that is not a rock band. <laughs> It's not, Kim. Oh, my God. Speaking of music, no, they're not a band, although they have moved in. And I feel like our roof has become their stage. Let's be real. And they are, I call them hoo-hoo birds because they go, hoo-hoo. Like, they do that. But one, the other day, Kim, one was on the roof out here. One was sitting on the side fence over there, and they were having a lovely conversation. I was just about to lose my ever-loving mind. It was just, oh, my God. And they are, Kim, oh, you've helped me with this. They are morning doves. They do not say, morning. They don't, they don't do that, but they are morning doves and they drive me batty. Well, Carrie, you bring up something really important though with whatever noises drive us batty, as you say. Whatever it is that distracts us from doing the thing we're trying to do. And I love that you have a playlist. Is there a way to, like, get that playlist or is there a way to do that that we can drop in the show notes so that we can actually help someone? Because I'm going to go, I'm just going to be honest, I'm going to go and try to find your playlist because I need something like that that's already pre, I'm going to say pre-put together. I don't have time, Carrie, to go find the thing. Kim, you raise a really valid question and suggestion at the same time I felt your sleeves and your magic wand and all the princessness come out in that suggestion but I think that's a good idea Kim I think obviously this is pre-recorded 
obviously we're in the virtual cafe. It's going to be a, a week and a bit before this comes out from when we're recording to when it's actually going live. I reckon I can make a public playlist to drop the link into the show notes and I'll put the very best of the relaxing, not boring. What do they call that, Kim? Um, is it a composition or a compilation? It'll be a compilation. I have no rights to the music. I, it's not my music. All those, you know, disclaimer things that we should say. But yes, I think that's a great... So if you're tuning in, check the show notes. It's down in the show notes. I love this, Kerry, because I'm just going to... Like, we have to say this out loud. Kerry still hangs out with me, thankfully. Because I do this to her all the time. Oh, that's a great idea, Kerry. Let's share that. That was definitely not pre-planned, but you know what? This is evolution at its finest, Carrie. Can I guiltily, selfishly say so I can have it? <laughs> well, Kim, you'll be glad to know that it's now on a sticky and it will be completed by the time this show goes live and it will be in the show notes. So well done, Princess. Well done. That was pretty fun, Carrie. Anyone who runs around with us knows that that happens often. <laughs> It does, it does. If you haven't heard the term being princessed, that's exactly how it goes, guys. So, more about that in a future episode, I'm sure. So, Kim, anything you want to add before we race out of here? Well, Terry, thank you for being willing to share with us your secrets because I feel like anything to help us get past the yucky feeling of doing the finances and doing, doing all the things we really need to do so that we stay in control of our money and we stay in control of our businesses i feel like you are such a huge you are a huge asset to all of us who listen to you so thank you for all that you do to help us well kim ditto to you because these conversations would not come to life without your active participation including the sleeves and the princessness things that occur <laughs> but i uh, know i really i really appreciate you coming and and hanging out with me in the virtual cafe and helping. These things are in my head, Kim. These need to come out and you are helping me do that. So I appreciate you. You're so welcome, Carrie, but I am going to giggle and say that is also known as stop asking me all these questions. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kim, let's hop out of the virtual cafe for another episode and we will chat to everybody next week. I can't wait, Carrie. Thank you. See you next week. Bye, Kim. Thanks. Kim loves to say bye after I stop the recording. She's now holding her fingers on her mouth. Say it, Kim. Oh, Gary! <laughs> Thanks for joining us in the virtual cafe. You can follow the show to be notified of future episodes. And if you're enjoying this podcast, we encourage you to leave a rating or personal review. Until next time, happy biz beans to you. No beans were harmed during the production of this podcast. Information contained in this podcast should be taken as general advice only and your personal circumstances have not been taken into account. It is recommended that you seek financial advice from a professional who is licensed to do so. If you choose to act upon the general advice shared, you do so 